Hi, this is Lou, welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be drawing a repeating pattern. Now this is something I've done on my channel before, a few weeks ago. But in this case, I'm going to be adding some color. I'm going to start by drawing my drawing with a fine liner. And then I'm going to go in and add color. Now you could use anything you like for this. I've done some with watercolors in the past and they look great. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to use some markers. The markers that I have are pro markers, they're an alcohol marker. And you'll see when you uh, when you get to them that the ones that I have are a few years old because the branding for pro markers looks completely different now. So I'm starting with a square of card, although this works with a rectangle as well. And you want to make sure that it's really square. So you want to make sure that your angles are at 90 degrees because that's going to be really important later on. And I'm drawing patterns all over this. And I want to fill it in completely. I mean, I don't mind a little bit of white space, that's that's fine, but I want it to look fairly full. And what I'm doing is I'm drawing the pattern all around the center of this piece of card. And when I get close to the edges, I just make sure that I stop before I get to the edge. You don't want to draw any of your patterns going over the edge in this case. Eventually we want to look like there's patterns going right across the edge, but at this point I'm just going to draw in the center. So I'm drawing this field of flowers and each of them starts with just some concentric circles and then I draw some different shaped petals around the edge and then I fill each of the concentric rings with some kind of pattern, usually a combination of dots and stripes or other small petals. I keep going with each flower until I'm happy with how full it is and how much detail there is in the pattern. I'm using repeating elements in different flowers and that gives a sense of consistency across the drawing, but I'm making them slightly different in each one. So I'm going to keep going, drawing flowers and filling them in with detail until the whole of the center of this piece of card is filled. I want to make especially sure that the, uh, the horizontal and vertical line down the middle of the card and across the centre of the card is as full as I want it to be. So if I see any little gaps, I'm going to add some little flowers in those gaps just to fill them in. Now you have a choice. You can uh, add the colour now or you can uh, do the repeating bit of the pattern uh, with it all in black and white. There are advantages and disadvantages to doing it either way. So I've decided to add to the colour to the flowers that I've put on there now first. The advantage of that is that when I split the card in half, the colour won't get trapped in the in the grooves. Now you can edit that out in Photoshop, but the, the less editing that you have to do, the better. So I've created a palette of pro markers out of my set that are all kind of like quite muted tones. Some are kind of pinky peach, uh, some are kind of browns and neutrals. I've got some like olivey greens and I've got some blues. And I'm just going to use a combination of all of those colours in all the flowers across the page. I'm trying to make sure that the colours are evenly spaced out. So there's, there's not too much of one colour in one spot and, and not in the other. The way I like to use the pro markers is to have sets of colours that are a similar uh, shade but a different tone so that I can blend them together. So I've got a dark blue, a medium blue and a light blue and a dark green, a medium green and a light green and try and make sure I've got those options for each of my colourways in the palette. So I'm going to keep going, filling in colours until all of the flowers that I've put down have got some kind of colour and decoration in them.
happy with your coloured in flowers. It's time to start cutting our card and rearranging it and that will help us to make the repeating pattern. So we take our coloured in and decorated card, turn it over and then mark on the back. So I'm going to mark halfway along both sides and then use a very sharp craft knife to cut them. Then I can line them up at the opposite sides and tape them back together. You really want to make sure that your, uh, your measuring is accurate. That's really going to help you with, the, uh, with making the repeat of the pattern. And now you've taped your card back together, you should see that there's a, a gap in the centre where all of the corners meet. And all we have to do now is to use exactly the same method as we did before to fill in the space in the gap. Now at this point you can add any flowers uh, or any bits of your pattern anywhere that you think needs it, but be careful again not to go over the edge of the square. Filled in your design as much as you want to and filled in any white space that you think is looking a bit blank, then your pattern is ready. So all you need to do now is to make it repeat. There are a couple of ways to do this. First of all, you could photocopy it. Photocopy it a few times, cut your photocopies out and then stick them together and then you can photocopy the result. You can also do this with a computer and that's what I do. I scan it in using my scanner and then I bring them into Photoshop. So that's what I'm going to do with my next video which will be out in a couple of days. I'll show you how to take this pattern that you've drawn, bring it into the computer and turn it into a digital repeating pattern that you can use in a number of ways and I'll show you some of the things that you can do with it too. So thanks very much for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed that. If you did, then please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe. I post new videos every week on art, making, sewing, all sorts of creative content. So I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks very much. Bye.